Look at that. Look at that view, man. I hope you're alright. I hope you've been doing good. Maybe things haven't been so well right now. But I hope you've been productive. But, uh, but maybe you've been in bed a long time. You haven't had such a great morning. The morning's been kind of unproductive. And you woke up late, 12 p.m. And you went to bed really late as well. You haven't had a lot of sleep. You aren't feeling good. But you clicked on this video, which means you want to start a change somewhere, but you don't know where. I'm going to go through my exact morning routine that I do now, and also that I did on my very first start on self-improvement to get me up just slightly bit earlier in the morning. But it happens that I can do this routine, and it gets me up at 6am every single morning consistently for the past quite a, quite a while now, well over a couple months. And you can do this too, right now. It is a lot more simple than you think, and you can literally do it right now. And you don't need it to get you up at 6am, you can literally just get it, do it, just to get you up slightly earlier, 7am, 8am. If you want to know how, stick to the very end of the video, because you need all of these things. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. So getting completely straight into it, the first thing that I do before I go to bed is I plan my day before. So the night before I plan my day, everything that I'm going to do, when you have something that you actually have to do, like a reason to get up, or even just a little bit of a routine in the morning, you're way more likely to get up and actually do it. It's like college or like going to school. You may have gone to bed at like 12 at midnight scrolling on your phone, but you'll still get up early. You'll still get up and go to school because you have to. It's something you know you have to do the night before. So plan your day the night before. And what I'm about to go through next, you can add on the list so you actually have like a morning routine. Second one is I meditate. Literally, like, I not even like, I literally get out of bed, I sit on my bed, or even better, just walk down to like your living room or wherever your living room is and just sit on the couch and meditate. Literally, first thing. If you want, you can literally, as you get out of bed, you just get up, make your bed, sit on the covers, meditate, cross-legged, or like go downstairs into your living room and sit on the sofa and do this. I started with just five to 10 minutes of meditation a day. That is not a lot, but it is more than enough to make a difference. I do a lot more now. I do around 30 minutes. But when I first started, all I needed was five to 10 minutes. So that's fine. That's more than enough for you right now. And you may not know how to meditate. I'll have a video coming out on it. But basically the basic principle is that you focus on your breathing and whenever your mind drifts off, you bring it back to focusing on your breathing. That's like a mind bicep curl for you. And you, you focus breathing through your nose, not your mouth, not this mouth breathing. <laughs> Third thing that I do right after I finish meditating, I do something known as gratitude journaling, which is basically you write in a journal or a piece of paper or anything. Just write 10 things that you're grateful for. I do this first thing in the morning, literally right after my meditation session. Like, I just write 10 things I'm grateful for. And it can be anything. It could be the chair you sat on. It could be the grass. It could be the sun. It could be the fact that I woke up today, like on time. I actually woke up and did the things I wanted to do. Like, it could be anything. It'll be quite hard at first, because a lot of people aren't really grateful for stuff. Like, well, a lot of us have this, have adapted this negative thinking, and a lot of us don't have this positive thinking sort of mindset. So it's gonna be hard at first. And that's what makes gratitude journaling so good, because you get used to this positive thinking mindset where you're constantly looking for things to be grateful about. You end up being happy about the little smallest things in life, but it makes a huge difference to your morning and eventually your whole day. Then after this, I go shower. Yes, I, I just go shower after. I start with a hot shower to like actually wash my hair, but then I end up turning it gradually to a cold shower. So I have the positive effects from the, was it the increased amount of dopamine and the fact that your body gets so excited and positively like energized from having a cold shower. So it gets me completely ready for the day. And then I don't have to hype myself up getting into the shower. I can start off with a nice hot shower and then slowly turn into cold. And then after, I aim to do any type of exercise. Not like super, super heavy, like deadlifting. Like, no, <laughs> no, don't worry. You don't need to do that. Like literally any exercise just to get your body moving. You need to get your body and your muscles moving, that blood pumping, just to get it awake. 
I tend to aim to do this outside, like I am right now. So what I tend to do, I drink coffee in the morning, just black coffee, because after, after this morning routine, I'll then go into deep work. So recording, writing a script, editing, and I'll sit down and coffee will help me get into this flow state. Uh, but I'll literally go outside into my back garden or like this here where I record and I would just walk around with a coffee just to get just any sort of movement any sort of exercise could be push-ups could be sit-ups or it could just be walking in your back garden with a coffee anything to get you moving and that's it this is 100% something that you can do right now if you think about it it's what is it the physical things you gotta do plan your day move your body have a shower and then the mental things gratitude journaling and meditate to make your day actually positive and productive like a pro positive productive morning routine so you're not just getting up you're actually doing something this is 100% something that you can do literally tomorrow morning and if you actually do everything that I say you will be able to do this one little tip don't sleep with your phone don't go to bed with your phone put it on the other side of the room or in another room because if you sleep with your phone, like, charging next to your bed or, like, close to you so you can grab it, this, you will 100%, none of this will work. That is how devastating your phone is when you sleep with it. All of this that you've planned for, none of it will work if you go to bed with your phone. So don't sleep with your phone. That's very important. I should have probably said that at the beginning of the video. If you like this video and you actually do this and this video helps you out, click on the one on the corner because this could also most definitely change your life. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.